introduce yourself and say your name. Nancy Bonacera. Carl Foss, hello everyone. Sayazani here. DJ Addison Reed here. We have an agenda, so let's get started at looking at the June 22nd minutes. Carl? So did anyone have anything they needed to add to those minutes I sent yesterday? No, that's good. Seeing none, I've moved that we approve the minutes from June 22nd, 2022. Second. Those in favor? Roll call vote. Yes, roll call, please. <clears throat> Carl Foss, yes. Nancy Bonacera, yes. Sayed Rani, yes. DJ Addison Reed, yes. Nick is absent. Okay, for nothing. Thank you. The next item on the agenda is the update for the select board to meet with the DEI committee for an educational program. We were looking for a date. My hunch is that since Nick is not here, that we don't have a date that we can provide. So let's move on with the agenda. Next is to talk about the DEI committee meeting with key executives in Burlington to discuss the mission statement with the added document that provides a definition for diversity, equity, and inclusion. And of course, the federal and state document on races and the comparison that is made for people of color with Caucasian. So if we could discuss that, Nancy and I had a meeting today with the assessors board and it was quite an introduction. Everybody got to introduce themselves and provide a little of their background and I probably talked too much. And then we proceeded with the documents and the chair, Kathy, O'Brien said that there is no meeting planned for August, and so they will look at their mission statement for their September meeting and then invite us back to their October meeting. Nancy, anything you want to add? Um, no, they seem pretty open to working on that. They don't actually have an official mission statement right now, but they do have a assessor's oath, so they'll put that in a mission statement format and then incorporate some DEI language. And the last thing that we talked about was the Burlington Annual Report and the progress they make with diversity, equity, and inclusion should be included in their report for this year. So I felt like we got good cooperation and progress to move forward. Yes. I guess the other thing to note is they said they hadn't really heard much about DEI. They didn't hear anything from HR, which was interesting. Um, so again, it just kind of points to why we need to exist. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, it was really nice meeting everyone. And I think everyone's open to working together. So it went well. The only other comment they made was that maybe this should be a direction for everyone in the town rather than the individual key executives. And our response was, we have to start where we are. And so this is the approach that we're going to be taking to get the key execs to formulate their mission statement and then include it in the document of the annual report. Carl. Yes. You want to talk about the school committee? Sure. <clears throat> we, we meaning BJ and myself, are meeting with Catherine this Saturday at 11. Um, I, the schools have been doing a lot of work around this area, so I think that 
I mean, uh, after the meet and greet, because, BJ, do you know Catherine well? I don't. Okay, so it, that will be a nice introduction for the three of us. Um, and then my expectation for the meeting, and I'm hoping, BJ, you're on the same page, is that we can talk about what the schools are doing and I think that the school department can kind of be a leader. Uh, other boards can look to what the schools are doing um, because we do have a mission statement that touches on inclusion. Um, and there are, excuse me, are other things that the schools have done that I think the other boards can use as examples. Great, I look forward to it. Um, Carl and I met with the recreation department last Thursday. Uh, that also went really well. Um, they actually have been doing some initiatives. Um, they have um, this person that works on the therapeutic recreation program. So she's already started working on some DEI stuff. Um, they have a core values that they just um, set of core values they just introduced this summer, which are pretty much about diversity, equity, and inclusion. And they're very open and interested in working with us. And we'll try to get something together by the end of the summer. As you can imagine, their summertime is super busy with their programs. But it was great to meet everyone and learn what they're already doing. Great. I did hear from Amy Warfield, who's the town clerk. She recently has had a death in her family and has been out of town. She indicated that when she gets back to the office the middle of this month that she would be in touch with us to set up a meeting. So that's forthcoming. Okay, and I talked with Carl, you said that Dr. Wiener was going to get back to us and possibly talk to BJ also. Is BJ, did Ed Weiner get in touch with you? No, he has not. And he does have my phone number, but I've not heard from him. Okay. Um, I spoke with him on the phone. The way he wanted to proceed was to talk to his board first and then maybe invite us to a meeting, but also he mentioned um kind of appointing a liaison between the board of health and this committee um possibly wayne saltzman but i'm not sure but then nancy you had a conversation with someone else on the board of health isn't that right yeah somebody had reached out to me it was kind of interesting because it was somebody that's on the burlington breakfast rotary club and I guess they had been working with someone on the Board of Health, and then they said, oh, we were looking for a DEI person or a connection, and she referred me to them, and then I was like, well, we're supposed to be talking with you guys anyways, and so there was a little bit of overlap there, so I don't know exactly what's going on, but I would assume whatever, you know, Ed decides would probably, you know, be what we end up doing. Okay. Oh, just to go backwards for a moment, speaking of liaisons, um, one of the things that we talked about at the recreation department meeting was um, the woman who runs the therapeutic program. Yeah, Emma Jones. And, yeah, um, she, they all suggested, and we, I think it's a great idea that she, yeah, she can be the point person liaison connection. Yeah, kind of a, um, I think that she would be great and add a lot to our meetings. So if and when we get to that point of having in more guests or expanding the committee. Yeah, um, whether it's like representatives or additional members or just the right. guest participants, whatever we want to decide. It sounds like it might be a good possibility. Yeah, I think it makes sense, especially if there's other departments that are already have some initiatives going like Carl said about the schools having some lots of things going on. So if there's other people we can 
try to combine and work together and hopefully not have to reinvent too many things if, if there's already efforts going on. Sure. I did hear from Rob Neufeld, and he's out of town. Right, until, until the end of the month? Yes. I wrote back to him and said I would reach out. I think he's coming back nine or ten days from now. So okay, that's fine. I'll reach out. I'll reach back. I told him I would reach back out closer to when he returns and try to set something up. Okay, great. And then the planning board, Nancy, you and I are supposed to do that. Yeah, did you try reaching out again or? I have not done that, so I could put it on my agenda for this week. Okay. And Carl, um, you said Rob Newfell was out of town too, the library? Yes. Yeah, didn't. Isn't that the one we just talked about? Just mentioned oh, that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I missed the name, so I thought you were talking about a different department. <laughs> I think that's everybody that we had on the list. I think so. There were six total, so that sounds right. Okay. I have seven. Assessors. School committee. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just thinking I have six. Board of <laughs> Health, Libraries, Planning Board, seven. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I have six myself. That's why I had six, six in my head. <laughs> We're partnering here, girl. <laughs> okay, next item on the agenda is to look at the second quarterly report for the select board. What I did with that was to try and look at the progress that we made each month. And so the second quarterly report started in January. And in the document, I just put action steps and results. I wonder what your thoughts are or if there are any corrections that need to be made. Um, I thought the document was a good summary. I had more just uh, a couple of uh, typo mistakes. Um, in each of the monthly summaries, you you wrote DEI and I. Yes. Once, so that just needs to be fixed. Got it. And then you put a question mark on when that select board meeting was in April, and I looked it up. It's the 11th. Thank you. And I don't know if we want to include what the voting was because it was actually three two zero. Like it wasn't a unanimous five zero. So I don't know if that if you want to include that. I think those were my only comments. Do we have to put what the vote is in writing the report? Well, yeah, I was just I was asking if if that was something we wanted to do or not. Does anybody have a reference? I don't, so that's why I'm asking. Um, I mean, in documents like minutes from meetings, they usually put voting totals for this type of summary report. I don't know. My inclination is to just leave it and not put it, but I could go either way. Very helpful, I know. I think it depends what, what tone we want with the document. If if we want to just be like, okay, we got it done, then I don't think we need to add that. <laughs> if we want to make a point that you know there was some resistance, then we should include it. <laughs> um, and I was just thinking because in the first part, of the summary, um, you said something about um, in February they they dismissed it. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So that was just my thought, whether that would be useful or not. Going going back to the comment on on the the vote distribution, I guess from a transparency perspective, it would make sense to include it in the report. That's that's a good point. 
Okay. Let's include it then. So do you want to send me notes? Yeah, I can. <clears throat> Thanks, BJ, for putting this all together. Thank you for Thank being you. patient. <laughs> So when I did the agenda for item six, I mentioned the next DEIC meeting, and that should have been the select board, which is Wednesday, the 27th, or maybe that is us. So I don't know when the select board is meeting next. Does anybody know that? Um, no, I can look real quick though. Okay because I would like to submit the second quarterly report so that it appears on the agenda for that meeting. Okay, let me see. Actually on Monday. Looks like this Monday. Monday. Yep, July 18th, 6 p.m. Okay. Got it. There's no agenda posted yet, so you probably have an opportunity to get it on there. Yes, I just have to submit it the Friday before. Perfect. So I'll I'll take the, the recommendations from Nancy and include that and then send it off to the woman who is the administrative assistant for the select board so it's on their agenda. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Next item on the agenda is to open the meeting for any comments. I guess one thing I wanted to ask is moving forward for our meetings, unless the state takes action, is it that three of us have to be in person and the others can join remotely? Uh, yeah, I think so, right? Because it's supposed to be a quorum. I believe that's how it needs to work. Um, what I'm hearing is that probably at the end of July, it will be voted in. Um, but yeah, until that point, if there's any uh, meetings, then yes, yeah, some of us would have to be in person. So given the email that I sent you about my illness, my preference is to meet via the computer to join the meeting that way. I don't know if any of you have questions about what I'm going through, but I thought my explanation <laughs> tried to share enough information that's happened to me over the last six years. But at any rate, I start next Tuesday with radiation. And that goes from the 19th of July to the 26th of August. And so DEI will meet during that time frame, and I'd like to be at home and meet via the computer so that I can have conversation with you until I get through that process. My schedule is that starting next week on Tuesday afternoon, I have appointments Tuesday through Friday, and then the following Monday, my time changes and I still have the opportunity to go to People Fit for exercise at quarter of six in the morning when the club opens. And I stay there until seven when I then leave and go to Leahy for a 7.30 meeting for radiation. And they say that that will only take 20 minutes. So I should be home by eight o'clock in the morning to see what the day offers. <laughs> But it means that I still have time to focus on what we're doing for DE and I. And the document that I attached to and sent to you today is my performance, my self appraisal of my performance of what has happened over the last six months. And I'd like to put that on our agenda for the next time we talk, which would be the 27th. 
two weeks from today. Okay. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. Sounds good to me. Sure. Well, if you have any questions, now's the time. <laughs> AJ, you're a stronger person than me. Well, I guess I would say that I'm the kind of person that no matter what happens to you in your life, I'm always positive and my attitude is positive. I may not like it when it happens, but it never slows me down. I love it. Yeah, that's so important. You know, just to be very down to earth about it. You just have to get your ass in gear and do what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm counting on your support for me to be able to do that. And we got to work and get this program done so that we're, it's part of our conversation. And it isn't just the committee that's talking about it. It's every human being who lives in this town and who goes to school here. That we're focused on all of us being happy with the community that we're providing for everybody. Just logistically, I'm thinking about our very first meeting where I think three of us were in the town hall annex and then two of us were on the screen. So I think that logistically, it's it will be no problem if we have to do it that way. Yes. Well, and I'm not doing this forever. I just want to get through August. <laughs> <laughs> and who's to say I'm not going to be ready for the next big meeting that happens in September? I'm going to be there. <laughs> uh, is there anything else for our agenda so oh go ahead sorry nancy firstly bjs you have my best wishes for for um for the treatment thank um, you if there's any any help that you need in going to the hospital coming back etc please please feel free to reach out and let me know we'll be happy okay. to help uh thank you. And secondly, did anybody else receive a letter from the town saying that um, their assignment for the DEI committee had been extended to June yes. 30th next year? Yes. So I did. I asked Nick about that, and unfortunately, that's just like a separate bookkeeping thing. So it actually doesn't mean that our committee is definitely extended. It just means that we can be on the committee but doesn't mean that it's already renewed for another year if that makes sense okay no, so. it doesn't make sense because i no. have the same letter <laughs> yeah. and it already no, it extended it as of july 1 through june 30th 2023 yeah it's... we all have that letter so nick can't deny what's happened to each of us so is it a technicality that we can be on it but the select board has to renew our Renew us basically for another year. I yeah. have that letter says they already did. Oh. Yeah, that's 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 the impression I got from what, um, and Nick's not here right now to explain it, but that the appointment is so we can we're still on the committee because I guess it renews at this point in time or June or whatever. But yeah, that that is separate from the committee existing. I th yeah, that's that's what I thought you said. So the existence of the committee has to be um, renewed, I guess, by yeah, the select board. Mm -hmm. Okay. And should that happen, should the existence of the committee be renewed, then we can stay on. Yeah, then I that's have the renewal letter. It's been done. It's been mailed. So if you're asking me to accept that he can start over, the answer is no. It's already been done. Yeah, yes, no, I'm laughing. I'm not going to take that as a rejection from Nick. <laughs> I can't have it. <laughs> yeah, if, if, if. All right. So we have the letter. That's where it is, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's where we are. <laughs> so we have been reappointed. So I has been, I have been reappointed as a member through June thirtieth. But, 2023. Correct. But <laughs> if, if Nancy's point is right, then <laughs> there might not be a... it can't be. <laughs> it can't be. Yeah. 
can't be right. Just, just hear me. It can't be right. <laughs> oh, this is municipal government, DJ. <laughs> Anything goes. No, no, no disrespect, you know, intended here, but that's, that's the sad reality. <laughs> oh no, you don't have reality. <laughs> Anyway, we'll chat with Nick and see what he finally says. <laughs> um, I actually had one other thing. So Monday is select board and um will you be going in person to present it, DJ? Yes. Okay. So Yes. When I, I submit it, I will... I will say that to the woman who the administrative assistant, she'll know that. Okay. I will try to be there too. Um it's Same. my daughter's eleventh birthday, but I think she can Happy excuse birthday. me for a couple hours. <laughs> well, we'll see where it is on the agenda once it's set up and you may not have to be excused. <laughs> You'll be there the whole time until it's ready to to, to depart. <laughs> but we'll look into it. Okay. One uh, last have, thing. Uh, uh, for Monday, I'll have to play it by ear. I may not be able to attend because some of a, of a pre-scheduled engagement. Yes, of course. If I can, then I'll attend. Okay, that would be delightful. I did send the email today and attach the third document was performance evaluation for me and for the committee. The structure that I use is the philosophy and core values, mission, goals, decisions, action steps, results, and self-appraisal. And I followed that process on the left side of the page addressing each of those issues. And so where the committee has already implemented, acted, scheduling with the, the key executives, everything is documented in this. But I wanted to present this because it also includes the elements that we need to educate the select board on. So what I'd like for you to do, this is 12 pages. If we could put this on the agenda the next time we meet, and then talk about the content that's in this because it is a strategic way of showing the select board what we need to aim to do. So just as an example, back in the early part of the year, I gave this committee a copy of the diversity scorecard. Now that we have come through looking at rules and regulations, that needs to be adjusted. And we talked about union contract in that language. We need to see what's already happened with that. But looking at the scorecard needs to be done by human resources. And so it's listed in this appraisal document that I, did, that I put together for us to look at. So it becomes the select board's guard, guard, uh, guidance and our guidance on how we're to proceed. I thought in doing this way that the reality is that to convene this committee just through October that does not get us where we need to go. And to progress looking over the next year could be very helpful in guiding us what we need to do. That's why I referenced this performance to follow the same process that's documented at the top of the page. Your thoughts? I think that's a good plan that we can look over this together next time. I like using it to plan the, the future, the, our, the path that we want to take. I think that's a, a wise course. 
just to illustrate, when you look at page two, it talks about core values. And there's an exercise that we need to do together as a group. And that's why we're looking for the date. Mm -hmm. So that's included in this. And then, of course, the select board's mission statement is there. They've not looked at diversity, equity, inclusion in the definition, so that's documented here. On page six, we look at the three theory strategy with why, how, and what. Why, how, and what are how people think. And we look at Maslow's hierarchy, my hierarchy, labeled you, at an organization's hierarchy. And we look who's in managerial positions and what they do. And that's how it guides us on the steps we need to take. And then when I began to look at goals, then I implemented a strategy to look at how we do hiring. And I illustrated some steps that should be taken. So that's the guidance that it's providing. And then we looked at the select board goals and then decisions, how to approach decisions with the advantages and disadvantages. And then how to create decisions for the next move with DEI. Action steps with dates and illustration. The results that have already been accomplished and where we have to go for the future. And then self appraisal, how that's documented and it goes a part of how we address what we've accomplished in a year as a committee. And that goes into the, the to the select board's file to evaluate in what we accomplished. We have a part and they have a part to see that we delivered what we said we were going to do. And then on the last page, I look at the committee, this committee's goals for next year. So it's forecasting, just as you mentioned, Carl, to see where it is we need to go the following year. So I hope that's helpful and we can look at it again and see if there are any adjustments that need to be made before we present it to the select board. Any other thoughts? Um, I don't know if you know the answer to this already, but it's HR. Um, open to working with us, or is that something we still need to talk to them about? One of the things that I discovered is that Nancy, not Nancy, Joanne reports to Paul, who is the town administrator, and he he also has a relationship with a labor lawyer. So it could be approaching Paul and saying, <laughs> who meets with the select board, mm -hmm. that we need to work with Joanne okay. to look at rules and regulations. And we need to look work with the attorney to figure out what do they put in the contract and then to be able to articulate what we need to do for next year's contract because their contracts last one year. Sometimes it may be two, but most are one year. So that process exists and that's how we should pursue it because Paul does meet with the select board and the people report into him. So he would provide our guidance to be able to do that. And that's in the document that I put together to look at. Because okay. you already know me well enough, judging by the mission statement for the select board, item number five on that list is now number one. And that is what you do with the people who are engaged, who live here, who go to school here. That's the guidance that we provide and how they're to be managed. They're not last on the list. We're not looking for the product that we have on the street or education or how someone is going to make money. 
That's after how you take care of the people. And so that brings up the element of what we're trying to cope with. And that's why we need to address rules and regulations and make it policy procedure and practice because a lot of practice is missing and it's never been documented. Mm -hmm. And Joanne needs guidance on how to prepare that, what to put together to get sign off on it and then to implement. Okay. So yes, it's important and that's the direction we need to go. Other thoughts? Okay, our next meeting is Wednesday, the 27th at six. Motion to adjourn? Second. And who was second? Nancy. <laughs> you made second, but it was first. I said I second. <laughs> Did somebody get that? <laughs> We have a motion to adjourn first and second. Please vote. Oh, yes. yes. Nancy, yes. Sayed Ghani, yes. UJ, yes. We're adjourned. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. <laughs> Stay cool, everybody. You too. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye.